What if we told you that the ancient Greeks believed in a pantheon of 12 main gods and goddesses who lived atop a mythical mountain and ruled over the earth and heavens? Welcome to a journey through time, back to the cradle of Western civilization, where we delve into the rich tapestry of Greek mythology and the 12 gods of Olympus. Firstly, we meet Zeus, the king of the gods. Born of the Titans, Cronus and Rhea, Zeus overthrew his father to become the supreme ruler of the gods. Known as the god of the sky, thunder and justice, Zeus was a formidable figure, embodying authority, fairness and occasionally a fiery temper. Next in line is Hera, Zeus's wife and sister, the queen of the gods. Hera stands as the goddess of marriage, childbirth and family. Despite her husband's numerous infidelities, Hera remained a figure of power and majesty, symbolizing the sanctity of marriage and the bonds of family. Thirdly, we encounter Poseidon, another of Zeus's brothers. As the god of the sea, earthquakes and horses, Poseidon was a volatile deity, his moods causing tempests and calm in the seas. His trident, a gift from the Cyclopes, is a symbol of his power and authority over the waters. Next, we find Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, grain and bread. Her role was crucial in a society deeply dependent on agriculture. The story of the abduction of her daughter Persephone by Hades, the god of the underworld, explains the cycle of the seasons in Greek mythology. Speaking of Hades, he stands as the fifth god on our list. As the god of the underworld, he ruled over the dead and was often associated with wealth and the earth's hidden riches. Despite his fearsome reputation, Hades was not the god of death, but rather the custodian of the souls who had passed on. Sixthly, we meet Athena, the goddess of wisdom, warfare and handicraft. Born from Zeus's forehead, fully grown and clad in armor, Athena was a warrior goddess who valued wisdom and strategy over brute strength. She was the patron deity of the city of Athens, which took its name from her. Next is Apollo, the god of music, poetry, prophecy and the sun. A deity of many talents, Apollo was known for his golden lyre, his prophetic powers, and his daily journey across the sky in his sun chariot. His twin sister Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, the moon, and chastity, is the eighth deity on our list. Artemis was known for her hunting skills and her ability to help women in childbirth. Ninth, we encounter Ares, the god of war. Unlike Athena, Ares represented the violent and physical aspects of war and was both feared and disliked for his quick temper and love of conflict. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty and desire, follows next. Born from the sea foam after Cronus castrated his father Uranus and threw his genitals into the sea, Aphrodite was a symbol of physical attraction and romance. As the tenth deity, we find Hephaestus, the god of fire, metalworking and crafts. Despite being lame, Hephaestus was known for his metalwork, creating all the weapons of the gods and crafting beautiful jewelry. Lastly, we have Hermes, the messenger of the gods. Known for his speed and cunning, Hermes was the god of trade, thieves and travelers. He played many roles in Greek mythology, often serving as a mediator between the gods and humans. So, there you have it. The twelve gods of Olympus, each with their own distinct personalities, powers and roles within the ancient Greek pantheon. A complex web of tales and myths, Greek mythology continues to captivate us, offering a window into how our ancestors understood the world and their place in it. From Zeus's thunderbolt to Athena's wisdom, each god had a part to play in the grand tapestry of Greek mythology.